I'm somebody on this channel. And I'm somebody too, I think. And today we're looking at a synthetic bone slash deer antler. I looked up, uh, it's a knife, and I looked up like this exact model, and they had some on eBay that were real bone, as Job said, real ivory. And some of them also said they were deer antlers that had been, you know, whittled and, and burned a little bit to give it the design. I don't know which one this is. They sell usually for 20 to $30. Um, dollars. And, uh, and this one came with a nice looking sheath. This is our grandfather's as well. And he used this also for hunting and, you know, just small things, whittling sticks. I remember he used to be out on his porch whittling sticks away. That's cool. And, uh, and, and I, I just, and it smells like his cigars. Joe it smells always, very aged. Like, yes. it smells very old. He had it for at least, I think Grandma said he had it when they were married. So it's like 50 years old. Yeah. Or more. Joe, tell me about this. Tell me about that. This is the, uh, that's, this is like the sharpening stone that you take the knife. Let me, uh, you actually, so you take it, and I'm not an expert at this. I don't want to damage the knife, but you'd kind of hold it, or you'd get it on a platform, and you kind of graze it. You start from the, um, start from the, the bottom of the blade, and you go down, and you do a motion like that, and you keep it like a, here's a zero degree angle, about a 25, and you go like this, and then you switch, and you go down, and over time, it actually, I actually did sharpen it a little, um, it's actually a little more sharp than it was, so, uh, yeah, if you want to go into detail about the, how the full specs of it, and how it, how it looks. So, the, the detail is, I read that some of these are painted on, some of them are, they just come that way. And the tripod <laughs> camera is moving, but that's beside the point. Like Job said, you have your woodling stone. You have the detail of the fake or the real ivory or deer antler. I, I just, I don't know what it is. You have the brass. Grandpa always told me that the end of this was brass, so I remembered that. It is a stainless steel <coughs> blade. It's steel that cannot be stained. And this is real leather and uh, a real leather sheath. You can tell by the smell of how it's aged. Like it smells like, if you've ever smelled old leather, it has like a burnt, also a heat smoked, which doesn't make it better. Which doesn't make it better. You know, and even though can, I, I'm not for smoking, I love the smell of yeah. like how he, like just the things he had, like it just smelled like cool and rustic and. Like he was in the military, so yeah. it smells like. Yeah. Can you compare like your can you put your arm like this and show him the size of it? Well, that is um, the size compared to his forearm, right? This is about, that's about nine and a half inches, nine, ten inches. This is about a, in full, the blade's about six inches. This is about four or five, so and about ten inches. Yeah. Um, and it is very bottom heavy because I think, hmm, it is hollow. That's so usually sign of fake. Yeah, so I think it's fake. But still, it's very bottom heavy, and, and and this is like nothing. This is this has like no weight. The the handle itself has a lot of weight to it. And notice, like it is stainless steel. All these scuffs and imperfections you see in the metal are not. They're not. It's not rust. It's not rusting because stainless steel does not rust. And um, so this goes to show that with age, it still doesn't rust. And if we clean this off, oh, look, just, just look at the luster. This is just a, it's gorgeous. It's a beautiful knife. Very beautiful. So, Joe, would you recommend this to, who would you recommend this to? I would recommend this to avid hunters, to people that like to go out and see the world and have also defense, and mostly, honestly, for decoration or to hang up or to keep somewhere or maybe maybe if you have like a wooden cabin rustic purposely stab it next to like a tv or something like in the wood just to give it that cool little look like it's a military feel that'd be pretty cool 